Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Do you notice any difference between these two animations? Well, take a look at it one more time. Well, if you did, that's well and good. But for those who didn't, uh, do you notice the background behind the text on the left side, on the right side? So on the left, we have the simple right on text animation. And with that, the background doesn't animate along with the text. But on the right side, we can see that the text is animating. And with that, the background is also being animated. There is no keyframing involved in this and in, uh, in creating this shape. I haven't used any mask or anything like that. So let me just show you a real quick tip how you can create the rectangle text box which will animate along with your animations text animations i've also created a macro for this you can use this right inside the edit page so once you download the file it will be in a drfx format double click on it to install it and you can find it inside the titles then you can just simply drag it and here we have some simple controls in the inspector over here so there is no animation by default for animations you can just click on this icon it will take you to the fusion page and in the text box over here, you can right click and add any of uh, the animations inside the follower or text scramble or anything that you want. So in the edit page, you have some basic controls. You can change the box color. You can change the size of the box and uh, you can change the text and it should, um, you know, automatically adapt to the length. And then you can change the font settings over here and uh, it should also adapt and the size and the tracking as well. And then we have the line spacing as well. If you have multiple uh, lines, you can control that over here as well. So uh, these are the basic settings. I just kept it quite minimal. So you don't have to mess around with a lot of uh, settings in here. But if you wish to do so, you can just go ahead in the um, Fusion page to create your advanced animations over here. And we will drag in a text node. Let's view this. And you can basically type in Let's type in the same text over here. I'm going to copy and paste it, right? And I can make adjustments to this text. I can change the font and all that stuff right over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, after this text, add in a node called erode and dilate. Click on add and let's view this. Let me just go to the single view mode. So you can click on this icon to go to single view. And on the inspector over here, you can see that we have the options over here, change the amount. So if you increase the amount, it's going to dilate the text size. And if you move the slider to the left, it's going to erode it. All right. So we want to expand the text. So let's just uh, increase the amount to, I'm going to set this to one. As soon as you do that, your text will disappear. And uh, that's because we need to change the clipping mode and set this to domain. So now you have a background shape that is taking the size of your text. So it's basically looking at the DOD information of your text. So if you hover your mouse cursor over the text node, you have the DOD information over there. You can also right click in the viewer, go to region and then click on show DOD. So you can see we have the DOD information over here as well. So this erode and dilate when we set this to domain, which is basically what DOD means is domain of definition. When we set this to domain, it's going to take the information of the text over here, the text size. So now our erode and dilate color or the background color is set to white and it's taking this color from your text node. So if you change it right over here, let's say we set this to blue, it's going to be blue over here. Now our text is disappeared. To bring it back, we can copy this text node and paste it down below as an instance. So hit control shift V on the keyboard to do that. And then you can connect it up to this erode and dilate. This will result in a merge. Now, if you drag this merge tool in the viewer, you will still not be able to see the text. And that is because our text color is set to blue. So if you go to instance text tool, you can actually see the color is the same. So we need to de-instance this color. On all of these labels, if you right click on them, we have the option to de-instance. Uh, but for the color, it's not there. Uh, to enable this, you have to go to shading tab and we have the color options over here as well. So you can click on any of these labels, red, green, blue or alpha. You can right click and click on the instance color group. Now you can change the color from here itself or you can go to the text tab over here and change the color from here. So I'm going to set this to white for now. All right. So there you go. We have a 
box around the text over here and you can just type in your text and it's going to automatically adapt to that text great so you can even add new lines if you want and then you can control the line spacing as well so if i just go to my previous text over here and reduce the uh, line spacing you can see the box will adapt to it um, great so i'm gonna set this to the default for now and remove this extra bit of text and yeah you can then go ahead and animate your text so for example if we create a right on animation you can see how it automatically adapts that's pretty much it that's how you can create this effect and uh, if you want to have more padding around your text all you have to do is after the text over here the original text the main text we will add in a blur to this so search for blur click on add and here you can see that it automatically added some padding around your text so if you disable this this was before and now this is after you can increase the blur size but if you do it too much then you are gonna lose the the main color so what we will do is we will increase the size and we will reduce the blend amount to very little value which is 0 0.001 great so that is pretty much it so you can now increase it to any length and it should not lose the colors in here so that is pretty much it thank you so much for watching do like the video if you found it helpful and share it with your friends i think they are going to love this thank you so much for watching again i'll see you guys in the next one